Good morning, good morning, my friends, and welcome to day five of the no spend. Um, I'm gonna go do this in just a moment here, and I just got out of the shower. I blow dried my hair because it's like really gross outside. Well, actually, it's not that bad right now. There's just like a light dusting of snow, but um, I didn't want my hair to freeze, so yeah. Um, but it's supposed to get like really bad this afternoon and I guess um, like the Twin Cities. I live just north of the Twin Cities, um, so I haven't gotten hit yet, but I should be getting hit later on this afternoon. So um, I will schedule things accordingly. I haven't eaten anything yet today because honestly, like real talk go. So I went to bed super late last night at like, I don't know, like 1.30 or something, maybe two. And I woke up at like, 5 30 or 6 that's like when my body normally wants to wake up so i woke up and i was still like super tired but i took the dog on a walk um and got him his like medication in the morning and did all of that stuff and then i just laid back down and then i didn't wake up until like 8 30 so now it's uh just after 10 because i just like got up and responded back to some emails replied back to some of your comments because my plan with me had posted and um yeah, took a shower and now we're here. So I don't think I'm gonna eat anything before I go because I wanna hit the post office and do that. And even though the weather is nice, I'm still not gonna go to the workforce center today. I think I'm gonna go there tomorrow. And um, like I said before, it's not the unemployment office, but it's like a place that will help you like find a job. And I think I need to register with them or something. But I am gonna go online and file for unemployment today. I tried to do it over the weekend, but apparently like they shut the website down over the weekend to register, which is like super odd, but whatever. Um, I needed to wait for my last um, pay stub to get in because they are gonna ask you a bunch of questions about like what your last check was, your last day of work, all that stuff. And that didn't come in until like late Friday night. So I don't know. Anyway, well, I'll get that done today. Plus I need to do um, a bunch of tax prep work and I figured that'd be a good thing to do while I am kind of snowed in. And I'm gonna film um, at least one video today for you guys, so yeah. So I've got a busy day ahead of me, um, most of which is gonna be inside because of the weather. And um, if it gets nasty enough, I might take you guys outside. I know I don't do a lot of vlogging outside, but I'm just like super paranoid about dropping my camera like in the snow or on the pavement or whatever. So yeah, but um, all right, I'm gonna go ahead to the post office and send all these lovely packages out. And oh, by the way, um, I sold out of everything last night. It was after my vlog was posted, after my no spend vlog was posted, um, I did have somebody reach out to me for that last bundle and they got it. So everything is gone. And um, I did a little poll on my Instagram, like my main Instagram and also my DStash Instagram, if you guys would be interested in um, getting any like home things from me that I would want to DStash. I'm not sure exactly how that's gonna work because there's like, heavy things and possible glass things but um like just for shipping and everything so uh, i'm not sure but i think i'm gonna grab a couple of those boxes from the post office that are like i don't know whatever they are like the it's like the white ones that are free but then you pay like just exactly what the postage is i guess um like it doesn't matter the weight of them i can't think of the name off the top of my head of course but I think I'm gonna grab a bunch of those and then see like what items fit in there and then just like price the shipping accordingly because obviously whatever item I'm selling has value and then the shipping is the shipping and there's just like nothing I can do about it. Plus I'll probably have to go to the store and get a whole bunch of bubble wrap but I'll probably go to the Dollar Tree and do that. So hopefully that won't be like too incredibly expensive. Um, but yeah, so sometimes it just doesn't pay to ship things sometimes, but anyway. I am gonna go to the post office and I will check in with you guys in a little bit. And when I get back, I'll probably obviously eat something. So anyway, I'll see you in a little bit. Okay, woo, ugh, the hair's all windblown. Mission accomplished. I went to the post office and here's my receipt. Da -na 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 -na. I will tell you guys how much it was for shipping, but I don't think I'm gonna include that in my budget because obviously, when I was pricing out my bundles for my D stash, I kind of assumed like how much things would be and some things were a little bit less, not by much, and some were like a lot more to ship, but whatever. So it was 165.66 to ship out everything, which is like a lot of money. But um, I also obviously um, got compensated more than that for all the, all the items. So 
I did grab some, they're, they're the priority boxes or the priority shippers. That's what they were from the um, post office. So I grabbed some of those. So I will have those on hand for when I start doing my home de-stash just to see what fits. And then I can look up online. My computer's over there. That's why I'm going like that. I can look up online um, how much it is to ship because some of those home items are going to be a little bit more pricey just because of shipping. And uh, yeah, but I've got dishes to do. Dirt, dirt. So I've got to deal with that. But I'm just making my tea. Oh, by the way, um, cleaning out my car yesterday and realized I had a whole bunch of stuff from Ikea. Random. So I had two of these um, napkin packages. Yep. I have a random like little candle holder. <laughs> and then I also have this thing, whoop, which is actually four different containers. There's three of the small ones on top and then one large one on the bottom, if you can kind of see. Um, but yeah. So anyway, just realized I had those things. Didn't even know I did, but I still love them, so whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm gonna make some tea, which is going. And I think that's gonna be my breakfast because it's like almost lunchy time. And I'm gonna um, send a message to everybody. Yeah, it's already 11, 11. Um, by the time I get done actually sending out those messages, um, it's gonna be lunchtime. Or actually maybe I should just eat lunch now and then get in contact with everybody later. Because I did do um, like a tracking information on all of the packages so then they can see where it is and all of that stuff too. So um, yeah. But anyway, that's what's going on here. And I think uh, after lunch and after this, I am going to uh, whoop, uh, do the unemployment thing and uh, do some videos. Cause yeah, I did have somebody comment, like could I even file for unemployment because I do earn an income from uh, YouTube. Let me tell you. The last time I was unemployed, um, I still had a part-time job, but it was very, very minimal. Um, so you can earn like a certain amount of money and still claim unemployment. And um, I don't think I can even tell you numbers like because I don't think YouTube allows it, but I'm, I'm not I'm not sure. So don't send me like irritating comments or anything. <laughs> so um, I will tell you, YouTube is very, very minimal money. And I think people see it and say like, oh, you've got like 18,000 subscribers and you've got like lots of views and whatever. What we as content creators get is very, very small. Um, so I can understand why you need to have like at least, you know, 500,000 subscribers and a certain amount of views for each video to really earn a basic income um it's really difficult but i mean i'm sure you can do like brand deals and partnerships and stuff and that's just like not really my vibe um i mean if i'm if i would buy it with my own money i would already talk about it but um i mean i get approached daily with emails of brands that make no sense to my channel and it um you know i'm sure that there's other content creators that would love the opportunity but it's just like not me so yeah, I mean, I just try to find things organically that I like, and then sometimes I will, very rarely, but once in a while, I will reach out to the company and say like, hey, I found you on Etsy, or I found like your shop, um, you know, would you want to provide a discount code? I'm gonna talk about your stickers, or I'm gonna talk about this, or whatever. And you know, sometimes I don't hear anything, and sometimes I do, and it's, it's not that I'm getting paid for anything. I'm not getting paid for it at all. I'm just like trying to share the love because I like love their products, or you know, I, I discovered, you know, their whatever, so. Um, yeah, but um, I know a lot of people have asked about Patreon, and I, I looked into it a while ago, and it just didn't seem like it was for me, but maybe it's something I should look into. But to answer your question, yes, I can still um, gain money from YouTube while on unemployment. It just has to be like under a certain threshold, like per month or per week, and I get paid monthly. So if you divide that by four weeks, um, it's very, very small. Um, so yeah, I mean with all the like effort and time it actually takes to produce the videos. The vlogs are kind of easy for me because you just kind of edit out the like non-talky times and um, sometimes I delay some music over it or whatever, but they're pretty simple to, to edit, but um, I've also been doing it for a long time. So 
you know, it doesn't take that much effort. But to like sit down and actually film like a normal video sometimes takes a little bit more effort because I have to like really think about what I want to say and um, <clears throat> make sure that my message is getting across in the way that I want it to. So, but anywho, um, enough talky talk about that. And uh, I am going to drink my tea and make some lunch here. So I will be back when I figure out lunch. Actually, no, I'm gonna figure out lunch right now. Hold on, because, because. I've got two more hot dogs. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat up these damn things. Hot dogs. There's two of them, I'm gonna do it. Um, I'm gonna have a Coke after my tea, so I won't take it out of the fridge yet. And then I think, ooh, yeah, I'll have an applesauce. Like, cinnamon applesauce is like totally my jam, so yes. Okay, that's what I'm gonna have, and I will see you guys in just a little while. Hello. Okay, so I have had lunch and I did my unemployment stuff online and I gotta say, thank goodness I have my old planners because um, I think it's the last 18 months. They ask you when you started previous employment, um, even though it has nothing to do with like the current job that I had, they just need to know because, you know, they need to know based on like your work history because that like you know, helps out your benefits or whatever. So I'm like, I don't know what day I started or which day I quit or whatever. It's like, I have no idea. So thank goodness I have my old planners. This is my one from 2017. And then this one is from 2016, which I needed both of them today. So thank goodness I keep these suckers. So anyways, um, I got all that handled. I need to go to the um, Minnesota Workforce Center and I'm gonna go there tomorrow because the um, wind is really kicking up and uh, I'm just not gonna go out in the slop right now. And I think I'm just gonna go there tomorrow because um, to finish it up, I need to do a couple of things, but I've already, got it started and um, I have this week to like apply for the benefits. So I just have to get that done before the end of the week, but it'll be fine. I'm just gonna go there tomorrow, like I said. I have my second cup of tea happening. I'm just kinda waiting for it to cool down a little bit. And um, I have not reached out to my people yet, but I will do that in just a moment. I just wanted to give you a little check-in and a little heads up. And um, yeah, it was uh, surprisingly easier than I thought to navigate the Minnesota unemployment website. But um, again, the only thing that was really tripping me up was my dates of you know leaving and whatever. I had one question on one of the dates I left, and um, I just I just kind of guessed at one of them because um, if you guys recall the place that I was a business manager at, I worked at a like smaller remodeling company. I stayed on for a little while to help the new gal. So I went in one day and then I was just like available via email and texting and stuff. And we actually talked on the phone a couple of times. So that was considered me still working there because I did get compensated. I basically just got compensated for my insurance is kind of how it like, it kind of washed out in the end. But um, I just can't recall what date it was so I think it was November 1 so I just put in November 1 because I remember paying for November's insurance and then that's the only month I paid for and then my new insurance took effect on December 1 through the last company I just worked for so I'm like I'm pretty sure it was in November like the very beginning of November because I remember sending in a check for that so anyways um, hope it's right. It's really, really close if it's not perfect. So, um, everything else I had the exact dates of. So, yeah, but, um, that is it from me for right now. But I'm gonna get to, uh, actually talking to all these people on Instagram that ordered stuff from me. And, um, yeah, and then I think I'm gonna film a couple of videos because it's the kind of day to film a video. Oh, and I'll show you outside too. Nothing's really happening. It's just like a light dusting of snows. But, um, it's nothing nothing too bad at the moment, but the issue is um, like the cities got pounded with rain and sleet yesterday, kind of like I did, but most of ours here evaporated already, so it's not totally horrible, but I guess it's like super slick um, down in the cities, so yeah. So this is kind of what's going on at the moment. Most of that snow is from other snows, but um, yeah, so maybe, maybe um, I'll actually get some weather 
later on today but it said it's supposed to be like later on today but the wind is just kind of whipping stuff around at the moment so good day to film some videos right all right well i'm gonna start um sending messages to all my instagram peeps and then um film a couple videos for you guys so we'll have more content tomorrow but i'll see you guys in just a little bit oh my gosh i have to share um i just got the mail and i got the most amazing package um if you guys follow me i don't know if i wrote it on instagram yeah i did write it on instagram um i had purchased something on amazon but um before i had purchased something on amazon i put something in my cart and didn't even think about it like if i'm just browsing amazon i'll just throw things in my cart and then i'll like put save it for later or whatever and um, I checked out because the price wasn't like that expensive. It was like less than 50 bucks. So I didn't even think about it because I had ordered a different item. Well, lo and behold, I ordered a shirt that says good morning asshole on it from someplace in like Korea or something. I don't know where it was from. But anyways, I got my shipping confirmation. I was like, well, why did I get two shipping confirmations? I only ordered one thing. So dumb, right? But it was like several weeks ago. So here is my new shirt. It says, good morning, asshole, on it. <laughs> That's so funny. I will leave a link for you guys below, because it is from Amazon. Um, but yeah, they only had it in white with the uh, black lettering. So yeah, I want to wear this to bed and then wake up in the morning and be like, yep, good morning, asshole. Right, Doyle? Right. <laughs> so anyway, that's gonna go upstairs and into the wash. I always put things on my stairs that just need to go upstairs. Do you guys do that too? Um, so anyway, update. I have emailed everybody, or not emailed, but I sent like a private message to everybody that had ordered stuff from me via Instagram. So that is all taken care of. That took quite a while. Um, and I'm making another cup of tea because it's like chilly out. It's like chilly looking outside and I totally understand that it's like warm enough in my house, but I just feel like a little bit of a burr. So anyways, um, I got some other mail, but um, I'm actually gonna be doing a haul. Um, it's some of my, there's another package that I haven't opened up yet, I'm not gonna show you, but um, it's some of my like planner stickers that I have ordered for like Go Wild and I did like a big purchase, of course like the day before I got let go at my job, so. Oh well, what do you do? So anyway, hopefully I'll be filming a haul, I would say within the month. I wanna wait for all the rest of them to come in. I actually had somebody email me yesterday and was like super apologetic and said, hey, um, just FYI, we went on vacation right after your order shipped and somehow there was like a faulty label or the label had like partially come off or something and the item was then returned back to them. So they reshipped it out yesterday. I was like, it's fine, whatever. Hope you had a good vacation. <laughs> I was like, well, thanks for letting me know. Um, so yeah, but I'm like, oh, that's fine, whatever. You know, I'm not in dire need of planner stickers, but I know some people can get a little out of control with them, um, you know, shipping and stuff, thinking it needs to be there like ASAP, but you know, life happens and mistakes happen and you know, whatever, it's okay. It's totally okay. Right, Doyle? What? Oh my gosh, I'm just not paying any attention to him at all. Oh my goodness gracious, sirs. Oh my goodness gracious. <laughs> yep. Are you gonna stand on the back of the couch or what's going on? What's going on? Yep, okay. Anyway, well that's it for me for now and I will check in with you guys in a little while. Ooh, all right, so I have filmed two videos. Um, I filmed my seasonal surprise box, uh, open box and reaction, and then I also filmed my like FDE no spend rules. And I gotta say, I think I'm getting my hunger back. Like, not with videos. I mean, obviously with videos, but um, like foods. <laughs> so I'm gonna have some ice cream. Um, it's strawberry and it's from Briars, I wanna say. Um, I found it in my freezer and I'm like, you know what? That looks epically delicious. So I'm gonna have some and I'm gonna probably watch a little television because um, yeah, I'm just gonna do that for a little while and I'm gonna upload this footage, or not upload it, but get it into my computer and then um, edit this evening, probably after this video goes up. But yeah, I'm uh, 
excited with the progress of the channel and everyone seems to be pretty excited as well um saying that they're glad i'm back and sharing and um lots of good love yeah but anyway i will check in when it's dinner time and ready to eat again um and show you what i'm eating i think i think i'm going to make some hamburger helper but with turkey like ground turkey instead of hamburger because I love ground turkey much better. Um, so that's kind of my idea. I put it in from the freezer into the, um, oh, look, it's my brother. Um, look, uh, not look, uh, I put it in the freezer from, oh my gosh, I can't talk. I took it out of the freezer last night, put it in the fridge, but I think it's still pretty frozen. I'm gonna leave it out here for a little bit and then, um, I think I'll make like hamburger helper. And then another thing I do with this too, just like a pro tip is um, if you're using something like this, I always tend to put in um, more noodles. Obviously I put in the noodles that they give me, but then um, I have other noodles like in my arsenal. Like I'm not gonna use these noodles, but I'm just saying like, I try to kind of match the noodle oh here it is here's my like elbow macaronis um i try to just kind of match the noodles and um it just makes it last a little bit longer and i'm not like a huge well it's kind of odd because i'm eating a lot of meat right now but i'm not usually a huge meat eater so um i really enjoy that i'd rather have more noodle and like cheese or flavor or whatever's in the sauce than meat i guess so anyway um just a tip from me to you so anyway, I'm gonna eat my snack, my delicious, delicious ice cream, and I will see you guys in just a little while. All right, so some interesting events have started to happen. Look outside. Oh, hold on. I'm not going out there because it looks nasty. Oh, it's hard to see. But basically there's like no visibility. Okay, let me go out front. Like it looks crazy out there. I just saw people like obviously in my area posting about how bad um, like the visibility was for driving. Oh my gosh. You can like hardly see the house across the street. I don't want to like show the houses, but yeah, it's just like blowing. Oh, okay, we're done with that. Oh. <coughs> oh, I get like a gust of snow in my face. So yeah, I was going to go out to the uh, mailbox, but I'm not gonna go out there right now. <laughs> I'm just gonna wait. Um, most of the schools, like most of the public schools and even the private schools and stuff, uh, shut down actually le yesterday uh, on Sunday uh, before anything ever happened because they knew that there was supposed to be some really bad weather like right around dismissal time. So, which is like right around this time, it's about four o'clock I think but I'm in the northern suburbs yeah it's about four o'clock so I'm in the northern suburbs and I guess the like right in like Minneapolis St. Paul and the southern suburbs were gonna get it harder than I was um, or earlier than I was gonna get it so good call good call and it uh, I think I mentioned this before but it did do like a little sleeting and raining yesterday so some of the areas have like a really really nice layer of ice and then compounded onto a bunch of junk no fun no fun in the snow but anyways um it is close to dinner time i'm still planning on making that um hamburger helper but with the turkey <coughs> so that is still sitting out and um yeah, that's kind of what's going on. When I start making it, I will, um, you know, pull out the camera and start talking to it. But um, yeah, I haven't done any of my tax prep today. It's kind of horrible. I should do that tomorrow-ish, I don't know. I just was kind of like vegging out in front of the TV and like feeling really good about my life choices. <laughs> well, hey friends, it's about six o'clock, a little after, and I am making my stuff. This is the turkey. It's all browned up and ready to go. So now I'm gonna add my hamburger helpers. And um, like I said, I'm going to grab those other elbow noodles and put some more of that like elbow macaroni in there just to like beef it up a little bit. Cause again, just makes it last longer. And then, you know, I can eat either bigger portions or I can eat it for more days or whatever. 
So yeah, that's what I'm gonna do here. Um, people ask me about my white cookware all the time and wonder like, wow, you must not cook because they would get so stained and so dirty or whatever. And you know, to be honest, um, I haven't ever had any any issues with these. I tried actually looking for a link, I think like during Vlogmas. And unfortunately, this brand, the only cookware set they had then was red, like bright red. I'm like, what the heck? So I don't know if they have <laughs> white any longer, but it's a uh, Bialetti, I think is how you say. It's B-I-A-L-E-T-T-I, if you can find it. But it was a white cookware set, all enameled, and it's just, it's so nice. I really, really like it. It says to hand wash it, but I've always put it in the dishwasher, and it's held up really great. So anyway, I'm gonna cook some more of my din -dins, and I will see you guys in a little while. Well, hello, hello. Um, my food is done. I don't know if I showed you guys yet, but this is my, my hamburger mac stuff. Doyle is diligently waiting his turn. He's not gonna get any of this. Doyle, Doyle, get out of there. Um, anyways, but I'm gonna say goodbye for now. I have a bunch of things to catch up on tonight. I have a whole bunch of videos to hopefully edit. My internet has kind of been spotty going in and out because we're having some storms in Minnesota, like some snowstorms. So not sure when this video is gonna get uploaded, but I am gonna get it edited. So um, if it's having troubles, I'll just try it overnight tonight and see what happens. But um, yeah, so that is it for me today. Hope you guys are enjoying the no spend. Oh, oh, I didn't tell you how much I spent today. Okay, I did spend money today, but I checked my bank balance today <coughs> and I forgot that I have a couple of bills that come out automatically. So my Netflix came out uh, yesterday and that was $11.75. And then my insurance for my car, um, and I think, no, regular homeowner's insurance is taken out of my like other thing, okay. So my insurance for my car is $85.42. I also pay a rental fee for my water softener system from Culligan and that's $31.85. I know people are probably gonna ask me why I rent it. Um, I just do because uh, they will service it if it breaks and this home is not that old and it's already broken down three times. So yeah, there's like water issues here. So I'm just gonna pay for the rental, right? It's way cheaper than paying for actual repairs, which are like almost thousands of dollars. So anyways, um, so that is the total for today um, and I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I will see you guys tomorrow for another no spend. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye guys.